Question 1. In a shared left turn lane, you should A. Use it as a regular driving lane. B. Use it only for making left turns. C. Use it for passing slower vehicles. Answer. B. Use it only for making left turns. Shared left turn lanes are reserved for drivers making left turns in either direction. Question 2. When you see a triangular road sign, it usually indicates A. No passing zone. B. Yield. C. School zone. Answer. B. Yield. Triangular signs are commonly used to indicate yield. Question 3. If your car starts to skid, you should A. Steer in the opposite direction of the skid. B. Steer in the direction you want to go. C. Apply the brakes firmly. Answer. B. Steer in the direction you want to go. Steering into the skid helps regain control. Question 4. When driving near a large vehicle, you should avoid A. The no zone. B. The left side. C. The front area. Answer. A. The no zone. These are blind spots where the driver can't see you. Question 5. True or false? You must always stop when a school bus is stopped on the opposite side of a divided highway. Answer. False. On a divided highway, with two or more lanes in each direction, you do not need to stop if you are on the opposite side of the bus. Question 6. In California, when are you allowed to drive in a bike lane? A. Within 200 feet before making a right turn. B. When traffic is slow. C. Never. Answer. A. Within 200 feet before making a right turn. This is to allow for safe merging with bicycle traffic. Question 7. When you see a flashing yellow X signal above your lane, you should A. Prepare to stop. B. Change lane safely. C. Increase your speed. Answer. B. Change lane safely. A flashing yellow X indicates the lane is about to close or is for turning only. Question 8. The move over law requires drivers to A. Change lanes or slow down when approaching a stationary emergency vehicle with lights flashing. B. Move over for all vehicles on the side of the road. C. Speed up to pass emergency vehicles. Answer. A. Change lanes or slow down when approaching a stationary emergency vehicle with lights flashing to ensure safety. Question 9. When parking next to a curb, you should not park more than blank inches away. A. 6. B. 12. C. 18. Answer. C. 18. More than 18 inches away from the curb is too far and could obstruct traffic. Question 10. True or false? In California, it is legal to text while driving if you are using voice-operated, hands-free technology. Answer. True. Voice-operated, hands-free systems are permitted for texting while driving. Question 11. When two vehicles arrive at an uncontrolled intersection at the same time, the right-of-way should be given to A. The vehicle to the left. B. The vehicle going straight. C. The vehicle to the right. Answer. C. The vehicle to the right. At uncontrolled intersections, the right-of-way goes to the driver on the right. Question 12. A diamond-shaped sign indicates A. A school zone. B. A railroad crossing. C. A warning or hazard. Answer. C. A warning or hazard. Diamond-shaped signs are used for warnings. Question 13. When driving on a one-way street with three or more lanes, you should use A. The far left lane for faster travel. B. The middle lane for smoother travel. C. The far right lane for slower travel. Answer. B. The middle lane for smoother travel. It typically offers more options for movement. Question 14. 
When you hear a siren but cannot see the emergency vehicle, you should. A. Pull over to the right and stop. B. Keep driving until you see the vehicle. C. Slow down and prepare to stop. Answer. C. Slow down and prepare to stop. Be alert and ready to yield. Question 15. True or false? When making a right turn, you must yield to pedestrians legally using a crosswalk. Answer. True. Drivers must always yield to pedestrians in crosswalks. Question 16. In California, you must turn on your headlights. A. 30 minutes after sunset to 30 minutes before sunrise. B. When visibility is less than 1,000 feet. C. Both of the above. Answer. C. Both of the above. California law requires headlights during these times and conditions. Question 17. On a two-lane undivided highway, the maximum speed limit for vehicles towing trailers is A. 55 miles per hour B. 65 miles per hour C. 70 miles per hour Answer. A. 55 miles per hour. This is a safety measure due to the added difficulty of towing. Question 18. When approaching a T-intersection without a stop sign, you should A. Yield to traffic on the through road B. Stop only if traffic is approaching C. Turn right without stopping Answer. A. Yield to traffic on the through road. Treat it as a yield situation. Question 19. A flashing red light at a railroad crossing means A. Slow down and proceed with caution. B. Stop and proceed when safe. C. A train is approaching. Stop and do not cross. Answer. C. A train is approaching. Stop and do not cross. A flashing red light at a railroad crossing is a warning of an approaching train. Question 20. If you are being passed by another vehicle, you should A. Speed up to make passing difficult. B. Stay in your lane and do not increase your speed. C. Move to the left to help the other driver pass. Answer. B. Stay in your lane and do not increase your speed. This helps the other driver pass safely. Question 21. When approaching a traffic signal displaying a steady yellow light, you should A. Speed up to beat the red light. B. Prepare to stop if it is safe to do so. C. Continue through the intersection without slowing. Answer. B. Prepare to stop if it is safe to do so. A steady yellow light indicates that the signal is about to turn red. Question 22. It is illegal to park your vehicle within blank feet of a crosswalk at an intersection. A. 10. B. 20. C. 25. Answer. B. 20. Parking too close to a crosswalk can obstruct visibility for pedestrians and drivers. Question 23. True or false? You may legally block an intersection when traffic is heavy. Answer. False. It is illegal and unsafe to block an intersection. Question 24. When you are driving in the mountains and are following a large truck, it is important to A. Stay close to the truck for better visibility. B. Keep a safe distance. C. Pass the truck quickly. Answer. B. Keep a safe distance. This ensures you have enough time and space to react to sudden changes. Question 25. A slippery when wet sign is an example of A. A regulatory sign. B. A guide sign. C. A warning sign. Answer. C. A warning sign. It alerts drivers to potentially hazardous road conditions. Question 26. On a divided highway with multiple lanes in your direction, the far left lane is generally used for A. Slower traffic B. Passing and faster moving traffic C. Trucks and heavy vehicles Answer B. 
passing and faster moving traffic. The left lane is typically for drivers who are overtaking others. Question 27. When driving through a construction zone, you should A. Decrease your following distance. B. Increase your speed to leave the zone quickly. C. Be alert and follow the posted speed limits. Answer C. Be alert and follow the posted speed limits. Construction zones often have hazards and workers present. Question 28. True or false? It is legal to drive over a fire hose in the roadway without permission from a fire official. Answer. False. It is illegal and can damage the hose and interfere with firefighting efforts. Question 29. When you encounter a bicycle rider on the road, you should A. Honk to alert the cyclist of your presence. B. Pass with at least three feet of space between your car and the bicycle. C. Assume they will yield the right of way to you. Answer B. Pass with at least three feet of space. This ensures safety for both the driver and the cyclist. Question 30. A solid white line between lanes of traffic means A. You should stay in your lane. B. You may change lanes with caution. C. It is a merging area. Answer. A. You should stay in your lane. Solid white lines indicate that lane changes are discouraged or unsafe. Question 31. If you are driving and a dust storm reduces your visibility, you should A. Turn on your high beams. B. Drive slowly and keep moving. C. Pull off the road and stop, turning off your lights. Answer. C. Pull off the road and stop, turning off your lights. This prevents other vehicles from following your lights and colliding with your vehicle. Question 32. When approaching an intersection with a blind person who is preparing to cross, you should A. Stop and wave them across. B. Sound your horn to let them know you're there. C. Stop and remain stopped until they have crossed. Answer. C. Stop and remain stopped until they have crossed. Drivers must always yield to blind pedestrians. Question 33. When driving near a motorcyclist, you should be aware that A. Motorcycles are entitled to the full width of a lane. B. Motorcyclists always have the right of way. C. Motorcycles are smaller and harder to see. Answer. A. Motorcycles are entitled to the full width of a lane. This acknowledgement helps ensure their safety. Question 34. If a traffic signal is not working, you should A. Continue as if the signal were green. B. Stop and yield to other vehicles as you would at a four-way stop. C. Only stop if there is traffic on the cross street. Answer. B. Stop and yield to other vehicles as you would at a four-way stop. This ensures safety and order at the intersection. Question 35. A flashing yellow arrow for left turns means A. You must stop and wait for a green arrow. B. Left turns are not allowed. C. You may turn left but must yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. Answer. C. You may turn left but must yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. The flashing yellow arrow indicates caution. Question 36. When driving on a multi-lane street with other vehicles, you should A. Overtake slower vehicles from the right. B. Stay in the middle lanes to avoid conflict. C. Drive alongside other vehicles to keep pace. Answer. B. Stay in the middle lanes to avoid conflict. This position provides more options for movement and safety. Question 37. True or false? You may make a U-turn in a residential district if there are no vehicles approaching within 200 feet. Answer. True. In residential areas, U-turns are allowed if they can be made safely without disrupting traffic. Question 38. When approaching a railroad crossing without gates or controls, you should A. 
Speed up to cross the tracks quickly. B. Look both ways and cross if it is safe. C. Always stop before crossing. Answer. B. Look both ways and cross if it is safe. Always be cautious at uncontrolled railroad crossings. Question 39. In California, when must you use your headlights? A. When you can't see at least 1,000 feet ahead. B. When your windshield wipers are in continuous use. C. Both of the above. Answer. C. Both of the above. These conditions require the use of headlights for visibility and safety. Question 40. If you are convicted of driving with a blood alcohol concentration, bay C, that is 0, 8% or higher, the first offense penalty may include A. A fine and mandatory attendance at a DUI program. B. Suspension of your driver's license. C. Both of the above. Answer. C. Both of the above. DUI convictions carry serious penalties including fines, DUI programs, and license suspension. Question 41. When you see an emergency vehicle with flashing lights parked on the side of the road, you should A. Slow down and pass carefully. B. Move over to another lane if safe to do so. C. Both of the above. Answer. C. Both of the above. The move over law requires drivers to slow down and change lanes when safe. Question 42. When sharing the road with a light rail vehicle, you should be aware that A. They may cross your path unexpectedly. B. They always have the right of way. C. They have limited maneuverability and cannot stop quickly. Answer. C. They have limited maneuverability and cannot stop quickly. Be cautious and give them space. Question 43. A curb painted blue indicates parking. A. For disabled persons only. B. For a limited time. C. For loading and unloading passengers. Answer. A. For disabled persons only. Blue curb markings are reserved for disabled parking. Question 44. When you see livestock on or near the roadway, you should. A. Drive normally. Livestock are used to cars. B. Honk to encourage them to move. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. Answer. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. Animals can be unpredictable. Question 45. True or false. You may drive in a bike lane up to 200 feet before making a right turn. Answer. True. This is allowed for the purpose of making a safe right turn. 